morning, visitors. Right now we have the James R. Barker departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. The James R. Barker was built in 1976 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 50 feet in depth. She is powered by two 8,000 horsepower, 16-cylinder Colt Peel stick diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 16 knots or about 18 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Barker has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 63,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250 foot self unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of short side equipment. The James R. Barker is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Melbourne Heights, Ohio. The James R. Barker is named in honor of the president and chairman of the board of the Interlake Steamship Company. Built for $43 million under the Mer Merchant Marine Act of 1970, the Barker was the first thousand footer to be built entirely on the Great Lakes and the first thousand footer to have all accommodations located in the rear superstructure. And this serves as a model for the next 10,000 footers built after her. Today she is on her way out with a load of iron ore pellets, which they, they just got done loading at the Canadian National Ore Dock in West Duluth. And they will be delivering that cargo to Cleveland, Ohio in Lake Erie. So once again, we have the James R. Barker departing to the Duluth Ship Canal, which was built in 1976. Measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 50 feet in depth. Maximum carrying capacity of 63,300 tons. Owned and operated by the Air Lake Steamship Company in Melbourne Heights, Ohio. And she's currently on her way out today with a load of iron ore pellets, destined for Cleveland, Ohio. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a good wave and wish them a safe trip.